We are Let's It's Grow and we specialize in aeroponic technology, focusing on ultrasonics. We have an ultrasonic atomizer, which is located in a bed that creates a really fine aerosol and that allows lots of oxygen to get directly to the roots. Compared to hydroponic systems, there's about 20% higher yield. And also we can use much less water overall. It allows us to potentially grow like right next door to supermarkets, in urban areas or in areas where there's less sunlight, potentially less water. If you're flying in produce from North Africa, as an example, that's about a thousand times the carbon cost as growing within just a few miles, maybe 10 miles of the final point of consumption. If you're shipping it in, that's about 100 times that carbon cost. And that's including all of the additional inputs you might need, whether it be in a vertical farm, so growing in layers with artificial lighting, or in a greenhouse setting where you're using natural light. When you look at that carbon cost of transport, that's where a huge proportion of the carbon in your food comes from. One of the benefits of vertical farms and greenhouses is we can increase kind of the intensity of production. That's a great thing to do when you can't grow outdoors, but I think one of the key things to stress is if you can grow it in the soil using free natural sunlight and all the good resources that we have naturally, you should do that.